Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about headliner material. As you see here, I have laid out on my table are different options for headliners. And uh, I know it could get kind of confusing uh, where people are getting conflicting answers of what was offered and what materials, what colors, uh, what years stopped the cloth, what years started the vinyl and such. And uh, many people want to know, you know, what was original, what wasn't original and things like that. So I'm just going to basically go over some options for you that are available on the market today and uh, we'll see what you choose later on for your project. Um, now keep in mind, you know, this, these are vintage Volkswagens and, you know, unlike some of the heavy duty cars out there as far as like Duesenbergs or Accords or Corvettes or Packards, things like that, um, you know, when it comes down to absolute originality, uh, Volkswagens um, are not held to the T. Uh, like some cars are when it comes to getting absolutely correct. But to the hobbyist out there or to the pro out there that wants to get as close as possible, this is what is available. Now, before we start, take a look at this material here. This is original cloth headliner material that came out of an oval bug uh, that I, I sometimes save these samples and you get to see the kind of material that this is. And if you look closely, yeah, it's like a woven material, okay? It's, you know, it's pretty fine as far as, you know, the sewing and the cross hatching and the threads, but not as fine as many people would have thought. Um, you know, it is, you know, you got a tweed material here, which is what I use on an almost consistent basis. Every now and then I do go to a cloth, but the tweed material is kind of the same when it comes to the, the weave, I mean, the tweed is a lot stronger here. It's more durable. But you see the cross hatching here, and then you see the stitching here. It's kind of similar. I mean, this is a little finer, but uh, I mean, I'm, not, I'm no expert when it comes to cloth, and I'm not, um, I don't sew things. And so maybe I'm, my terminology is not correct, but uh, you know, this is the original cloth headliner out of a, like a 54, 55 beetle. And they had the cloth headliners up until, you know, 62. So something to think about. But what's on the market today is, so you have TMI material, okay, which is like, they offer mohair, okay, a mohair style material. This is beige mohair from TMI. This is their ivory mohair. It's actually very nice material. It's very soft. Uh, feels almost like a velour, but it's not. Uh, but if you know, if you look closely enough, you know, it doesn't have the cross hatch, you know, like the vintage would have had, you know, or the, you know, this, this other type of weave, you know. So this is TMI option, readily available today. The TMI also has a, um, I think, believe they also have a white or a gray, um, if I'm not mistaken. But I th actually think it's just the beige and the ivory, uh, from what I know. They also offer velour options, as you see. This is from So Fine, but uh, TMI also offers uh, velour as well for a headliner. And I think they have velour also in the beige, uh, similar to this color. Okay. So then when you go over to um, Wolfsburg West, they also have this uh, company called uh, Acme that makes this so called vintage cloth. They have this and then they have gray. They also have an, a, a white, I believe, a white cloth. The problem I'm having with this material as of late, it used to be better because uh, every year it seems like the quality changes. But as you notice here, it's starting to fray. And I put a few headliners in with this material and unfortunately it's starting to fray. It's starting to, it pulls apart a little too easily. It's gotten much thinner um, and to the point where it's, it doesn't feel like much, you know, I mean, you can, it's very, very thin. So I'm not too crazy about that. I hope they can upgrade that and maybe get a better source to get this headliner stuff done. Um, but uh, that's uh, the vintage cloth out of either Wolfsburg West. You can also get it from So Fine. Um, and uh, they also had the gray option and a white, I believe. So, and of course you have your vinyl material. TMI has vinyl along with So Fine. And uh, your vinyl material came in at 63. So if you want to stay original, um, you know, you would have went with the vinyl material. 
Um, now vinyl 63 would have had just you know a multi-piece vinyl headliner it's the only year they had a multi-piece vinyl and then once they went to 64 it was just a tuck around the back window with uh, with this material and then the rest of the roof was pretty much like a one piece so 63 is kind of unique in that fashion but some people even after you know uh, from 63 on they still want to go with a cloth uh, so you could still use these options and they offer them TMI offers them so fine offers them you know I'm, I'm SoFine offers a whole array of tweed materials. Um, I'm, I'm rarely using these darker colors uh, when it comes to headliners, but I do use uh, beige tweed often, and I've used in the past bone. Okay, so if instead if you didn't want to go with a vinyl uh, white off-white headliner, you can go with the bone tweed. And I, you know, I'm just a fan of tweed. I know, call me a tweed junkie if, if you want, but <laughs> uh, I think it does uh, look very good, and, and a lot of vintage cars uh, use. Uh, tweed material for their headliner so um, comes out really nice very durable very tough very forgiving and that's another reason why I use it um, and it's readily available that's the other thing and it's not as costly as say going with over here this is a broad cloth now Lenny from West Coast Classic Restorations offers this broad cloth for Volkswagens some of the best material on the market uh, very easy to work with uh, and it's very forgiving. It's got some good stretch to it. Um, quote unquote, similar to what was offered back in the day that most people say, but I don't know. You be the judge of that. Um, I don't know. Tough to say. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, this material feels more like, like pool table material. You ever, you know, play on a pool table and you feel that green cloth that's on the pool table. This kind of feels like it's that. Um, now there's a company I know of in Newark, um, let's see, it's called these guys, and uh, Hirsch Auto, okay, if you see them, HirschAuto.com, they have a whole array of broad cloth, because Lenny at West Coast only offers a couple, but uh, this place in Newark offers a whole bunch, but just keep in mind, this stuff is expensive, so you're talking like 80 to 90 dollars a yard sometimes and i think you need anywhere between six to eight yards for a volkswagen so do the math um so then even once you get the material then you got to hire somebody to actually then cut the patterns and then ship it back to you so then you can put this headliner in so i mean there's a whole array of cloth out there that's offered but you know we want to keep this simple we want to try to keep the cost down. Um, Lenny from West Coast, uh, he's up there too. I think he's around four, five hundred dollars for a headliner now, uh, and that's this stuff here. Um, so, you know, depending on what kind of car you have, you got a split window, you got an oval window, and you want to go all high end with it. I mean, that's uh, this is a great material to use. He's got different um, uh, colors, not many. Maybe there's two or three other colors that he offers, but. Um, that's about it. Nothing, nothing much here. And they're pretty much just like a beige or tan material. Uh, there's not much variation. So um, I would have liked to see something like this from him. But um, so we're actually going to test the, uh, a car out. And we have Hirsch Auto going with uh, giving us a bunch of this material. And we're going to have it cut and uh, put into a 54 oval bug. So stay tuned for that. It's a nice color. I think that's very close to what was, you know, very acceptable for, for back then. Uh, but so here are your options guys. I mean, this is what's on the market today You can go to jbugs.com and see all different styles of headliners um, And then you could even uh, offer, you know, call them up and get some samples if you could But this is basically what's on the market um, And like I said success rate I've had the best success rate with Sofine's materials Sofine's patterns and her cutting even if you went with the Acme material her patterns and cutting and measurements are perfect uh, So I have not had a problem with her stuff um, and if you do have a problem, she's very good at customer service and she can really help you out if you have an issue with your material. Um, but then again, you have TMI, this is the mohair stuff, this is beige, this is ivory. Um, so something to keep in mind when you're going through and uh, trying to choose a headliner for your vintage Volkswagen. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you can pop me an email. I'm always doing headliners and you know, I can give you some tips and tricks and things like that. I even have the, uh, the multi-part series on installing a headliner in an oval bug. So, all right, guys, uh, that's that tip for today. And uh, pop me an email if you need any help. Okay, take care. Um.